What's going on guys, your boy Amazing, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're going to be talking about farming boss battle and why it's so beneficial for your account, so let's hop into the video. Before we actually hop into the video, make sure to subscribe to your boy Amazing, we are on the road to 25k subscribers, man. At the time of recording this video, I'm at 23,560 subscribers on the YouTube channel, you guys have been showing an insane amount of support, man, and with that out of the way, let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so today, and I think yesterday as well, which I unfortunately missed uh, yesterday, today is actually half stamina boss battle, and you guys know that I praise boss battle so much for what it provides for your account, and I want to like explain to you guys why it's so beneficial and why you want to take advantage of farming the hell difficulty, um, you know, throughout all of today basically, so let's hop in. So, for the rewards here... As you guys can see, the stage clear rewards on Hell, you have Water of Lies, Demon Bloods, uh, obviously your rune depending on the uh, chapter, and then you have 5 star awakening stones, 4 star awakening stones, and you're also going to be getting monster card packs as well, and then the rest of the stuff is just the lower rarity versions of the top stuff. So the reason why this stage is super beneficial for your account is because it helps you build gear. Um, as you can see, so it, it helps you build gear by getting you the awakening stones, giving you these runes, um, so you can salvage them and actually get, you know, more awakening stones as well. And then it also gives you, um, fodder for making the full, uh, full star token. So if you go to Merlin here and you guys actually go to the, uh, little icon right here, um, you can actually fuse your chalices into making a full six star, uh, uh, awakening uh, thing right so if I was to like select multiple here um, you can include essential as well and it's gonna get 6,000 and we can actually create a full awakening token and this is gonna be able to fully awaken your character um, note this does not fully super awaken your character this just regular awakens your character but farming boss battle will be able to give you that uh, benefit as well and another thing to note as well guys is if let's say you can't farm hell for whatever reason like let's say you just started the game and you're f uh, fairly new um, normal is actually fairly good as well in terms of rewards like um, I mean on extreme at least um, if you go to extreme right you're not gonna be able to get the awakening stones anymore um, but you guys will be getting drops for your actual awakening uh itself so like characters like if i scroll down to the bottom of my box here i only have a, like two characters i haven't awakened at all yet um because they just you know i won't be awakening them anytime soon um but a lot of these materials can be obtained through a boss battle and free stage and whenever it's half stamina boss battle if you don't want to make a full awakening token because you can't afford to make it with all the materials you can definitely farm out these little uh, awakening materials right here and you can actually awaken your character that way um, that was the original way to do it, uh, but once full awakening tokens got introduced, uh, it kind of got uh, taken away. But you guys can see, like, the rewards are still fairly uh, similar, right? And I mean, in terms of runes, you will have a higher drop rate of runes, so you know, it could actually be more beneficial for you. Um, but you guys can see here that in, in overall, in general, though, the rates for you getting something that benefits your gear is going to be almost like 5%, I think, right? Oh no, it's a little bit more. It's like a 5.2 almost uh, around that, right? Like almost 6%, right? So that's a pretty good uh, amount of percent for the Awakening Stones and the and the runes that you can salvage. And then having the Water, Lice, and Demon Bloods, you can convert them into um, the full Awakening Tokens. You can start awakening your characters. And this is going to be super beneficial because it's going to be able to get your box um, awakened, right? And once you get your box awakened, you can increase your account buff and start getting higher box CC, uh, you know, milestones, right? Um, the higher your box CC is, the more HP. HP bonus you actually get you get a big jump of HP actually going from um, all these lower ones right here like you go from uh, 4.5 from 1.5 million to 5 to 6 to 7.5 so you get a 1.5% increase another 1.5% increase they like get really really big man and then the later half of these uh, box CC increases are not as crazy so I think the most important ones honestly are like up to like at least 4 million 4 million is when you start um, getting all the really really good box CC buffs so if you're able to awaken your whole box and let's say you have like a good chunk of characters you just haven't worked on them um farming boss battle is going to be a very very good way to actually start awakening your characters and getting that sorted out um another thing to do as well is if you guys do get the gear um what you can do is if uh if you guys have watched my other video about um, uh, I think it was like gear and how to like, uh, you know, take advantage of it basically. But if you, uh, five, uh, plus five, every single SSR piece you have as well, and then you salvage it, you actually will get more drops than if you were to salvage a regular drop. So if I go up to Merlin or uh, not Merlin, if I go up to Deanne right here and I show you guys the difference in salvaging. So if we were to salvage, let's say just this random, uh, you know, belt right here, we only get five, right? We have a five. So if I just salvage this, let's see what we get. 
right so we got a salvage success we only got five of that if i was to do a plus five piece we get 10 um but there's also a chance of you know if you're lucky you can get uh, more drops so like let's say i was to do um let's just get a bunch of uh let's just get a bunch of a uh, regular ones so if we just like take a bunch of these uh, ones i'm not gonna use right let's just go through um we'll take a bunch of these right there we go so let's say you were to salvage all of this you'd only get 60 enhanced stones right and you still have a chance of getting the uh you know the the what's it called the awakening stones but it's not going to be as great if you plus five your gear right if you plus five your gear and then you salvage it you'll get a lot more so if i was to salvage this let's just see right so we get one five star awakening stone and we get four four star awakening stones so now and that was an ultra success as well so now what i'm going to do i'm going to enhance 12 pieces i'm going to cut and then i'll come back and i'll show you guys the difference when i actually plus five those all right guys so you guys can see here that i have gotten all the pieces plus five here that i'm gonna salvage and as you guys can see it's a hundred and twenty enhanced stones to actually um that you actually will get from salvaging so now once i salvage this bear in mind last time we got an ultra success on just normal ones so let's actually see if we get an ultra success here we're gonna get a big increase in, in comparison okay so we got six there that's a little bit worse um, but generally speaking, you will get more from salvaging um, plus five. But yeah, you guys can see that it's a pretty decent benefit in terms of getting uh, your rewards back, man. Um, if you don't want to do plus five, you can do plus one. And plus one's okay. Um, and it'll save you a lot on your gold and your enhanced stone. So if you are pretty low on that, you can do that. Um, but yeah, man, definitely make sure to take advantage of boss battle while it's available, guys. You're going to be getting a good amount um, from your boss battle and I highly recommend uh, taking advantage of this especially if you're like a newer player um, even compared to like a late game player like late game players probably don't need to farm boss battle as much but if you're a newer player man it's super super beneficial to farm this man so definitely make sure you take advantage of this it's always I think it's always half stamina every Wednesday Thursday so I did miss yesterday but just so you guys know in advance a uh, Wednesday Thursday is going to be the half stamina day so you want to take advantage of it when it's available so that's going to be it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe as always if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace out and have a great rest of your day